Hello, this is Andy for Here Now TV, also known as Jetzt TV. Today I'm going to interview Gerhard Strauss, aka Ho, who is known for his darshans and spreading the message of Advaita. Welcome, Ho. Nice to have you here. Hello, Andy. Fine to be here. Hmm. My first question is, can you tell me in your own words what Advaita actually means? Resting in complete resonance to the unknown. Resting in peace just as is with all feelings, all thought forms, all energy forms just in the midst. No movement and everything moves through me. And from there it is possible that the switch happens. The switch to, to know your real nature. Okay, what what is uh, what do you mean with your real nature? When you are in a state of non-duality for one moment, and the expression of that is the possibility that the energy system gets tuned like an instrument, the energy system of expression of feeling of being and something stops and then you you see that it is moving it's just just uh, seeing movement and feel the energy forms flow and there's there's a recognition if it is if it goes deeper and deeper and suddenly there is the switch so i say non-duality 100 percent is completely here there's no separation but the recognition is a moment when it cannot be told with words because there's nothing more, but there's very much deeper, but nothing more. It's pure non-duality, but, but it's a realized, transcended non-duality. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I read uh, your name, it says Ho Gerhard Strauss. What, what does the Ho mean in your name? Does it have any meaning? It happened that the word came up in me and uh, the age. You can, you can look what it means to you, but perhaps the O is to dive through the O. So you can, you <coughs> can tell yourself any story about it but it's never dead. It cannot be told, but it sounds as it sounds, and it was taken by life as a name. Oh, okay. Happens. doesn't mean anything. Happens spontaneously. It means everything, it doesn't mean anything, so you can choose. Okay, because some... some some spiritual names have um, have, sometimes they have meanings like the, the sea and the ocean or something like that. So, but okay. if you look in different scriptures of the East, you can find it everywhere. Many places and many spiritual scriptures. So it was when it was found, when it opened up, it, there was a resonance to all of this. And so it was used by life. Uh, some give sad things. Your meetings are called darshans. I just wonder, is there any, is there any difference between a satsang and a darshan? No, it's the same. It's just an expression of it, expression of it, expression of life, expression of the innermost. Is the expression of the satsang different than the darshan? No. Okay, so it's. More or less another, just another just name. Just another name, just another word, like O. Okay, <laughs> I was wondering, okay. <clears throat> um, I read you help people to transform their suffering. How do you do that and what do you transform it to? I do not transform anything. I just 
rest inside and without doing anything as a teacher to a student or somebody who has to learn. Nobody has to learn. There's no preacher, no teacher like Papaji said. Just resting in the midst of it and expressing it, there's the resonance so learning happens, whatever life has to teach. I do not do anything. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, there would be an ego that thinks that I am a teacher and there is a student, but there's no student and no teacher. Mm. Okay. And there's the open space that life can really learn what is to learn, and there's not the protection of, of the teacher ego. Okay. So, okay, yes. Just being. Ramana Maharshi was so wonderful example of just being life, being truth, without even projecting any salt forms or energy forms, like the lilies on, on the flowers who grow up from the inside, only from the inside. It spreads outwards, hmm. only one direction, and then it can connect with everything in love, feeling and touching and moving and... Is there anything wrong with projecting? There's no wrong and no right in silence. Is there anything wrong with not being in silence? Apparently, there's nothing wrong with not being in silence. But what? But not being in silence? But not okay. being in silence? Okay, it because happens. sometimes, sometimes it sounds like this is the ultimate goal. You have to mm. be in silence and to see mm. your true nature. And every human who doesn't succeed has failed in life. No, it's Would, a, you wouldn't agree. No, it's a natural pro process. The apple ripes on the tree, and the they can the apple. Huh. The apple, the fruit, arrives on the tree and it can be in non-duality being the apple completely. And then suddenly something can happen that the apple falls down. Uh -huh. Something and then it's, there's the recognition and you cannot make the recognition. Yeah. Because the interest will grow and grow and then you have to go through the fire. Because life wants you to go through the fire and you cannot do anything against yeah. it and you cannot force it. Yeah, let everything go and let it happen. Yeah, so so like if it if it is bound to happen, you cannot do anything against it or for it. It just it happens because the interest will grow. It will grow from the outside, the ripening of the fruit, oh. and it gets stronger and stronger, and the shakti and so on. And, and it has to to fly in the center of it and to implode when grace wants. Yeah, the very natural, and the naturally. And the recognition. Like the leaf that has to fall down when it's time. Ah. Um. Do you, do, can you help people gain inner peace? By just being peace. Silence in resonance with silence, so that whatever energy form is flowing, it can tune like an instrument. It's like in an orchestra. People who are free are more in the resting place and deep in the resting place. And they do not want other people to be more in the resting place, they just rest without conditioning anything. There's no condition to rest, but something will touch the inside and, and the touch can open up and the touch can tune a body-mind system. Tune? So that tune like an instrument. You have to tune it before you play it so that you can really use it 
when you play the violin or the drums, first you have to tune it. And this is a tuning, tuning bhakti to silence. Mm -hmm. So that is, it is like the bow, not too strong and not too fluttering, but the real energy. With, with the whole system, so that the, the the monkey also can fall, no? because the whole the, the system is in non-duality always, and there's a thought form that I'm this or that or not or what, hmm? so this can fall back also in the family, which is already present and here. What do you mean when you say a monkey? The mind, the mind, the suffering mind with wants and needs and ideas and conditioning. That's okay because it's a process of, of learning. It's life. But there's the chance to, to open up and to that suffering loses its power more and more. Why do you call the mind the monkey, though? It sounds kind of like being a very rude to the poor mind. <laughs> it's very useful to read plans, to use a computer, to make scientific research and so on. But want and need, like the Buddha said, is the cause of suffering. Because there's a, there seems to be a separation. The mind that believes there's a separation because it wants something that is not here now. It has no separation, really, in simple non-duality. But it seems for the mind in, in, in identification that uh, If the mind is silent for one moment in non-duality, there can be seen that there's no separation, never, never been any separation. And then the space is open and in the right moment it will implode in itself in a moment of complete non-duality without any reason, nothing to get nothing to attain, just... So, it's like there's a feeling of incompleteness and this feeling of incompleteness like vanishes, like explodes or implodes or whatever. It's just, it, it, this feeling of incompleteness comes from the assumption that one is separate and a separate entity it and comes from the I thought, as the Marsh said, the I thought that I'm this or that and I have to do this and that and, and so on. The tree of thought forms. And then the source of the tree of thought forms at the root it vanishes into where it where it starts again and again and goes back again and again and hmm. I remember that I spoke to someone who's, who was very interested in, in Advaita but then he got very frightened and said I'm afraid that when this this seeing this uh, imploding happens that I lose every that I lose every um, motivation, every motivation to do anything, and he was totally afraid of that. What would you, what would you tell to this, uh, yeah, person, uh, for, for lack of words, other words, 
if someone would tell you I'm afraid, mm. for, what you tell actually makes me afraid because mm. it seems like I don't have any motivation there and I will only sit there and mm. smile and uh, <laughs> and look into the into the room and that's it and he's kind of afraid of that. What mm. would you say to that? Don't be afraid, take my hand and life plays with different kinds of finding itself in the fire. It's okay. And sometimes it has to play really wild. And the recognition is, can be deeper, much more deeper if there is a little shock before. Mm -hmm. Non-duality is very simple. Just one moment in an instant. And it's, it's useful. It's useful because it's the free way of expressing and moving and, and connecting and feeling and so on. But yeah, when I look at the writer teachers, I don't have the impression they're just sitting around. Mm. They, some love to play music and stuff. And so if you would call that motivation, it's still there. It doesn't vanish. It's just you don't feel incomplete like a loser or something. Yeah, completely with as life expresses with everything. Everything yeah. can be done and it can be expressed in every way. You can look at the television, you can read a book, you can walk around, you can play football, everything as you like. Yeah, just like it. Just like it happens. Yeah. I read about body, mind and soul on your website. What is the difference between mind and soul in your eyes or words? I do not remember on my website that there's mind and soul. This, like Ramana told us, there's only the self, one self, and I, I need not um, make a division <coughs> between, even between the soul and the body. It's the, the, the whole energy system and it's the, like in the Heart Sutra, the, the, the emptiness and the, it seems like matter, it seems like energy, it seems like um, everything, thought forms and, 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 and computers and, and, and bottles and glasses and, and feelings, all. In this moment I wouldn't make it a decision between different kinds of that, mm. oneself. But of course you can say, okay, it seems the difference between a book and a thought form and a feeling for communication reasons as it happens, as it is used in everyday life. Yeah. Of course that makes sense. Well, yeah, life expresses itself in several apparent forms. That's just natural. I think, I guess, it's just loving all this different kind of information coming from one source, being one source. It's wonderful because oh. everything is precious. That's when beautiful. it is still, when mind is interested in. in always finding something not okay and when it's simply just as is then it can be used it can be really used it can be used deeper and deeper without needing to use it it happens completely natural like in the plants and in the animals the same way we are in paradise again because we are just natural nothing mystical as a mystification, real mystical, natural, just life. With a human, human heart and human feelings and human, what seems to be irritation or so and so on. But it's only the weather, it's the weather of, 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 of human um, behavior and, and um, hmm. 
complexity of all these <laughs> different <laughs> kinds of, of weather <laughs> weathering yeah <laughs> <laughs> like cloud clouds and and, and, and joy and and, and all and all of it that's 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 a cute um picture like the human how it how the expression it's it's like the weather <laughs> And the glands, the, the fire in letting go, being completely just in moving of the body or without moving of the body and whatever the body knows when to move, like the, all the processes in animals happen and in plants. They happen because life knows how to move and to express and the plants and the animals do not know how. They, they, they do not know how not to. And we, if, we, if we lose our play of separation as one of the possible plays of life, then, then, it, then, then, it, then, it, then it's really, really, really useful without needing to be useful. Uh huh. Okay. Um. What does living in truth mean to you? Who I am has never moved and to stay here and let the energy of the body and the feelings and acting in the world happen. How do you know that what you are has never moved? How do you not know that this is not just some illusion, the feeling that you have never moved? In experience, in silence. Yeah, whatever comes up can just be a play of life to give the impression that there is never a movement. It, it's always, it's always a, it's a expression of life. All the thought forms also, they are the family. There can be right thought forms or wrong thought forms. Yeah, but also but, what is but, beyond thought can also be just an illusion. We never know. Yes, there's no idea of beyond or here. It's just stillness in itself. And stillness in itself, there's no knowing or not knowing. and. Just being knowing and being knowing is beyond knowing and not knowing. You sure that stillness is not also an idea? Of course it's an idea, but uh, we could also sit in silence and not talk about these things. And if we use words, it happens in the way uh, from there that it is conceptualizing in this way now. Okay, I do not yeah. know. I, I hear it conceptualizing and that happens. And I. So, so this is the all. Oh, this is. The closest way you can come with words separating stillness from the apparent movement, like the uh, the the forms are not the reality, but what the forms are is it, the reality. It, it, this is the mode life uses it in communicating the uh, um, just yeah, sayable or what cannot be spoken. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Mm. So is this what you mean when you say uh, uh, on your website also I, I had to look at it so I centered my questions around it but I'm sure you, you, you can resonate in your, in your words you stated that you, one can experience God so to speak. Yeah just words of course. Is, is that what you mean like experience God experiencing oneself? Yes like, it's the same. Without the thoughts and stuff? It's just happiness as the true nature of being. Mm -hmm. And it includes all joy and all pain. So it doesn't... So, without so. using pain for suffering or using joy for suffering. And it goes deeper and deeper in seeing the tendencies the vasanas of using more and more subtle 
parts of what happens for suffering, from joy or from pain. And there's complete freedom. It's the space of being, it's just as it is and as it happens. There's no hmm. going to anywhere. So, with you, there's less acting through um, through many thought concepts, and more like like those are more sub the use use. Uh, the way thought concepts and stuff like that are used are more subtle. It's not just mm. not total. Yes, it, it's not. When it is clear, the reality is clear. Then it is can be seen what happens, because you are still you are still and present, and then it can be seen finer and finer and finer and finer. When the the ego is fallen, you can see the structures of the mind finer and finer. As you can tell, you can call it the ego structures. But the, without the ego, the ego structures are just the vasanas or the prarapta karma, which can be seen. I also read on your website, important. I have nothing to give to you. Everything happens by that. So. Well, actually, we kind of already talked about this, but maybe we can talk again that about the wonderful reality that it doesn't happen through you as a person to another person, but just by that. It's nature. effortless. It's nature. nature. It's all nature. Nature is also the learning process with our brains and as a human beings. It's nature. Nature is managing all the processes. That's love. That's like a the firework. <laughs> it's firework, yes. Yeah. Firework and, and, and really and the faces of very, very heavy firework play. Yeah. For actually being okay, it, it does like to play like rough, <laughs> like like it's not okay a lot. Like it co completeness likes to play incompleteness. <laughs> it's, it seems. and more and more absorbed in the innermost. It can be seen in more and more subtle ways. And learning happens and opening up. And it is useful. You can really use it without needing it. You give it to the innermost, you give it to the deepest source. You give yourself and more and more and find a newborn from there through all the energy levels of the system. That's really a human being that is born. Well, if, if, if you would meet someone who has, uh, who's experiences, who sees everything as this, but still, even though this is clear and not only as a thought, but really seen, still ex there's much expression that appears kind of painful, like conditioning still happening. What would you tell to, to someone like that when he says, oh, it's, uh, I don't know why, but the conditioning still arises a lot and it's really stressing me out? <laughs> Life will choose a way how it has to happen in this moment because it uses the situation. There's no one separated, so the whole system and the worried person who is much troubles and, and suffers is in this field, in this field of being, and and silent suddenly uh, there's suddenly there's a there's a connection. Suddenly the connection happens in inside, and, and it can be there. It's not, it's not about the words, but the words are also a energy forms that can be used, but it's the whole system and and, 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 and most of the time um, I do not know what life, how <laughs> life manages it. Yeah. I cannot know, I cannot know because life decides yeah. and, and, and so the other one 
there is not really yeah. another one. He and also it could, doesn't it could know. Be and, we, and we 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 look what happens, and, and we we and, and and suddenly there 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 can be some trust. It's it's not clear. It comes from from where all comes from that the the trust of the trust in the unknown, which which cannot mm. be. Trusting, but suddenly trusting something is felt. Something is felt inside, and something suddenly, suddenly there's there's faith without needing uh, yeah. to believe anything. The more the, the beliefs fall away, the deeper the trust and the faith can 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 come from the innermost. Suddenly, in in in, in just being together in, in satsang, in sitting sitting in silence, or and in, in sitting in silence is everything. There can be much action. There can be uh, yeah. it can be loud, and there can be dancing, and there can be all all. It's it's whole life. Satsang yeah. is whole life. It's not only the also, sitting in silence, yeah. also, but sitting in silence. In whatever happens, it can be in any loudly. field of expression, everywhere yeah. in all in the, in the world, in any, any situation, this is satsang. Being <laughs> in groundless tuning in yourself as the authority of. Who you are. <laughs> the power of, 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 of not needing power. Yeah. <laughs> Just tuned energy. Shakti. Shiva. <laughs> Life force. <laughs> it's so funny. A new Star Wars a film is called The Force Awakens, but the Force is already awoken. It doesn't need to awake. <laughs> it's funny. Ah, oh, yeah, nice. Yes, everything is the beloved. But it's the recognition. Hmm? Awakening the recognition of ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, always new. And it's always new. There's yeah. nothing. If it would be, can, it could be controlled and understood. And finer, and finer is new. Uh. But the idea that it's new can be very heavy, so that you have give up the idea of being new. Just. What is your reaction when people when you see people complaining a lot? Definitely being very I'm, un I'm interested un uncomfortable with mm. our life and with the life situation or stuff. It depends on the situation. Life will decide how to act or not, or to to to, to walk around, or to, to 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 speak very loud, or to do not speak, or to to hug the person, or to I do not know. Life will decide in this moment in the interaction of the energies. Hmm. And that's that's before I, I have any idea how to ego always has ideas, but I have no idea because I see that life knows how to to move and to mm. to play the whole situation with all the parts of the people who interact in the situation. Oh, yeah, that's good. Then you have, don't have to have many stressful thoughts no, of trying no, to control. No, no, nothing to control. Yeah. Nothing needs to be controlled. It's what, what can you say mind. about the human wish to control life? I, yeah. I see many, many and many behaviors trying to control life. If you rest in silence and you express silence, then there can be the switch that someone doesn't understand or know, and suddenly he, oh, he is astonished, and and then and, and then it can happened that his energy system is tuned without the reason and then perhaps something opens up because it doesn't no one is there to wants him to open up oh. and then it can open up in resonance it can can suddenly it can be used and there can be a shift in his behavior without needing to be attended by an I just just from life itself
How can you get rid of others of wanting others to open up? <laughs> I cannot get rid of anything. Uh -oh. I just only I can only be myself and more and more and deeper in myself and I let people more and more behavior as the behavior and much more and more and more and they will be astonished perhaps that they cannot fall out of this love of just being oh, uh, uncondition yeah. un unconditionally present and and then the people they do not uh, struggle against me or mm -hmm. so they can open up just naturally because they do not they are not advised from an I or a teacher ego that says you have to be careful you have to be in vigilance or you have to stop this and yeah. so and suddenly it comes from inside and the authority will do the work not an I of an, a teacher I or a pupil I or something uh, you, you, I, I, I bet you have an idea how stressful that is when you are like, oh, you have to open up. You have to, yes. That's the condition. That's the ego. Ah. So let it go and then uh, there will be from another place, from the place we really meet from there, it can come up. Like Rumi said, the field where we meet. The field where we meet and from the field where we meet, like the flowers, which is said in the Bible that uh, the flowers grow from by God's grace and not by, by flowers trying to be real flowers. So it can be helpful to be with a person or teacher who is in silence so, so that that's you, the own system, system can silence down better that, rather than being with, with someone who is very ego driven. But it's also, it could be also very interesting even if one is very much the, the play of the teacher. When it cannot be, it can only be seen from the inside. Sure. From the inside, it's also this, the very severe one can also be a play of, of real uh, present consciousness. Who, who, who can know? No one can know. You can see it only from the inside. No? And okay. there can be some teachers who, who are very loud and they are yeah. angry, but they are not really angry. This is an expression of love. Yeah, there was so there's no uh, I think Yuji uh, Krishnamurti I think was mm. a lot like blah, 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 blah. it's also it's also possible there are so many ways of expression from 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 the inside uh, and still there can be a total clearness that there's just this there's not a condition to be in this or that way or not in this or that way uh, so that means being expressed as very silent Outwards doesn't need to be any better than being expressed as apparently being very angry outwards. It can both be perfect silence, just being expressed at mm. whatever life wants to mm. express. Mm. It's not the expression itself, but it's the source where it comes from, yeah. from where it opens up. Is that, is there, is there, is there, it's not the expression itself. Is, 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 is there a separation between the expression and the source? I don't There's think no separation. so. Oh, okay. Um, but it's but it's a play of words. How to? So we have yeah. to. We we need some. We need time to make a sentence because that. But it's always here now. So we cannot say a word because it uses some seconds to say here. Even if we say here and now, it's it, it's here. Uh, it's not. It cannot be. Yeah, but the moment the word arises, it's also here now. So it's always. Yeah, that's only that's anything, everything that is. Life tells itself a story about not telling itself a story in this moment. <laughs> what life? Life tells itself a story about not telling itself a story. Even even the 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 Advaita language is the same play, but it's aware and it uses this play. Oh, to yeah. express that I which see. is not in the play, but it can only uh, use so, okay. the play with words yeah, yeah. to express it, which is, yeah, which is I, I silence it, is always it, yeah. silent, even when speaking about silence, this that's, mode that, of uh, that's why you telling mean, itself the story that uh, nothing can be told and so on. Huh? That, that's what you mean when you say it's not the expression, like the words are, are, are true, uh, they're telling everything in two, a story of trueness, and you use the words to express not trueness. 
it's funny. It's <laughs> Therefore, Ramana Maharshi most of the time didn't move and didn't say a word. Yeah. <laughs> That's very yeah. clear. That's the, the answer is very clear. Mm, beautiful. Enjoying being love. Being together, being here, just sitting and, 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 and being. Yeah, I heard from a teacher who was talking a lot and then in his last teaching years he was just not talking at all. <laughs> just stopped talking. Oh. Hmm. Can... Mm. Some people think that when you uh, awake, uh, when you wake up to the unpersonal, that nothing personal is ever going to appear again, or it doesn't 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 have doesn't play out or something like that. So, can personal love? still appear as an appearance after awakening like i love you my dear of course even though it's... there's no one to love and no one loving <laughs> it's it's one special kind of play there's so many there are transpersonal plays there are personal plays all all of that and the experience of god it can be very personal it can be transpersonal it can be there are so many different can it be both? Can it be both at the same time? Apparently personal, but also actually transpersonal. It's always transpersonal. Ah, that's ah. the knowing. The, the it's always it's, transpersonal. It's always transpersonal using a personal experience. Yeah, yeah as you said, there's nothing wrong and nothing right, huh? Hmm. The mind has many ideas of what could be wrong. I think. Yes, but, the, <laughs> but stillness is in absorption and the mind just happens. Yeah. Stillness always home and mind and body move around and act or not and, and discuss things and, and... Nature is the screen of, of silence. Yeah. In letting go all the thought forms, it can happen more and more finer and in more and more subtle ways and more and more Shakti can flow in everything from letting go deeper and deeper. What is Shakti? The energy. The, the energy force. The, <clears throat> the power of Shiva. As the so, so it seems like a very spontaneous power. The energy level. But, uh, there's more taste in the fruit. More and more taste. It's more and more tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying life more and more and deeper and deeper. Yeah, yeah. In letting go deeper and deeper, you enjoy more and more and deeper and deeper. Yeah, That's the paradox. Yeah. It seems like a paradox, but it's letting go and then life, what can life do if there's nothing in between? So in letting go, it can only enjoy and feel and express and and and, and be touched more and more and finer and finer. Ugh. Because there's no, no border needs to be brought between. It can be seen, it can be seen finer and finer, so and letting go. Mm. Yeah, before it's a lot like, oh, I know what happens here. This is a glass and this is, yes, it's just boring life. And everything seems so plain and boring. Well, it is exotic and unbelievable and a wonder, actually. Wonders are wonders even if they aren't seen. <laughs> As one once said. If you're stopped, then you can really taste it. Mm -hmm. In every second, in every breath. 
with all the senses. Letting go of the senses, the, the silly, bassy, the letting go of everything. Yeah. Like Meister Eckert said, to let go of God, to experience God or life or It has, a, it has a childlike wonder to it. It has a childlike wonder. It's it's wonderful, more and more childlike. Not childish, but yeah. childlike. Oh, childish can also be fun sometimes. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. But yeah, I mean, I know. Like, if, oh, all it's, it's, programming is given to God. It can be seen and it can used and it can change. It can be used in other ways. It can learn. But mm -hmm. it doesn't need this uh, different kinds of play of just moving in the world as as being. Seeing and feeling and learning. Yeah, just being and far more interesting to, to than all the eyes of, of human <laughs> beings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you think of meditation? Many people recommend to make it a meditation. Some others say, oh no, meditation and anything, any practice is wrong. Because then you are an ego that wants to get somewhere. But then other, others said, no, there's a meditation where you just sit and don't do nothing. And then life can show itself. It can become clear by itself that everything is just this. So there are these different kinds of perspectives on meditation. What comes up when I ask you about meditation? For some people it can be helpful when the mind is, is running in so many directions. So a technique can be helpful for some time, but for for a real being, all meditation techniques will also be used and then flow away and, and no one needs meditation or I would say whole life in every moment. This is meditation 24 hours of the day. Satsang or meditation or life, it's the same non-duality, the play of life, the yeah. play of emptiness in form and color in every moment. Ah, I want to talk about I want to talk about the concept of hope. Hope is something many people rely their life on. It's like a holy thing that is advertised, advertised even in kids' cartoons as one of the most important attitudes and values in life. Sometimes even being impersonated by by characters. I'm hope. And hope is important for human for the for humans. What do you think about the concept of hope? Most of the time hope is suffering, it's but it can open up and so gradually hope can be open space where life is really interested what is happening now, what can be appreciated, what can be seen, what can be so so it can change. This is not this or that. So hope is bad or good or so, but yeah. hope is a process of opening and when the fixation gets um, opened up, then, then there's no conditioning that it must be in my way. Mm. And suffering can get less and less and more and more oneness flowing in expression, seeing itself and, and feeling in compassion happening. Yeah. Then, then it's then it's open-hearted. Uh, it's like the tiger on jump. It's really, it's not, it's dynamic. I love the, the one aspect of hope is, is the dynamic aspect. It's it's, it's open. There, there's no future, but it's the open presence in, in in jumping into the future from here and now as the dynamic aspect of being one with the system, moving in time, space, in. It, it's, it, it goes back to the source inside and it expresses opening to the world in this play of the world, outside. 
but there's no inside and no outside but like resting deeper you can um, be more on on jumping into life mm. from inside and and, and expressing what has to be yeah i think that many people experienced and expressed i i think that many people um feel like there's something wrong with this world there's too much too much crime and stuff like that and the hope is then something that drives people through like some time some in the future some when it will be better if we just hold on to hope life will finally get better but that's so I think it can maybe can can be a wonderful thing if one is in a very dreadful situation like being in a like being in prison or being uh, being in a cut set and I don't know the English word now the concentration camp mm -hmm. but so I can relate to hope then but sometimes it can also be like a no to the present this is not it it's very yeah. practical it's very practical if yeah. it's if people do not tell stories they can help without being helpers so if you forget the story and be present and just tune you mm. will not sit so you can do something without doing something that's yeah. the possibility to really to really act as a present human being practically without telling stories that this is so bad and it's so worrying and oh and this yeah. and there's hope yeah. and no hope yeah. you're just practical yeah. be stopped and do something <laughs> yeah <laughs> but not doing with the mind but yeah. really really yeah. from the source not to tell a story as boring it is or how dreadful or how oh, yeah, yeah. just yeah. And then the fire, the fire is, can be used, the fire of life, yeah. this, the body, this really, really can be an expression of yeah, story life force. Yeah, story stop and acting uh, starts, starts. Use the yeah. energy, the thinking energy in just expressing it without story. Less story, more life power, the same energy. And the switch, the shift is tuning the system from the religio, from the present inner authority. Okay. Moving in everyday life. Because then that can be seen that there's no separation. And this can be used. What does what what do you mean when you say there's no separation? That's maybe the last question that I ask. Oh. I have no idea and it's just as it's 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 naturally focused in itself without telling a story that it is naturally focused okay. in itself. <laughs> it it's is, just what it's, it is. It's just practical. It's, it's just it's what just, it is. It's yeah. oneness, but it's so. This word has been used so many times. So yeah, I, um, <laughs> I don't do not want to say that I'm it or oneness or blah blah blah. But but <laughs> just just being it. The essence of of mm. of moving in the world and structuring the world from the flow of nature as the flow of nature. Well, if that isn't a wonderful last sentence to round this apparent interview up. <laughs> yeah, well, Okay, thank you for answering this question, so. Thank you, Andy. And uh, I hope you, I wish you have a, have a happy stay here in Berlin. Thank you. There will be an intensive tomorrow and on Saturday. And...
Let's see what happens. I really do not know. <laughs>